This morning, Jadarius Rose, the truck driver who was attacked by a police dog in central Ohio, speaking out. I just didn't want to die. That was what was going through my mind. The officer who released the canine, Ryan Speakman, has since been fired. His former department saying Speakman did not meet the standards and expectations we hold for our police officers. Rose says he did not pull over because he was afraid of being shot. He first called his mother. I told him to pull over and when he looked out and saw that they had jumped out their vehicles with their rifles cocked at him, he pulled out. And then he called 911. Yes, I'm, right now I have police officers following me for a long time, and I'm trying to figure out why they got their guns pulled out of me, and I'm just a truck driver. The problem, according to an incident report, the commercial truck Rose was driving was missing a left rear mud flap. I don't know why they're trying to kill me. Officers eventually threw stop sticks on the ground beneath Rose's truck, spiked strips intended to puncture tires and force a motorist to stop. They got their guns ready to shoot me. This video capturing the subsequent moments when police caught up with Rose as he exited his truck, fellow officers telling Officer Speakman multiple times to keep control of his dog. Do not release the dog with his hands up. Though Rose did have his hands in the air, Speakman released the dog. It first went toward other officers before turning and attacking Rose. Do not! Hey! Do not! The video appears to show the dog maintaining its grip on Rose for more than 30 seconds. Rose and his attorney, civil rights advocate Ben Crump, want more to be done. Justice for Jadarius is trying to make sure that officers who sick dogs on unarmed black people are held accountable. And Rose is still charged with felony failure to comply. We did reach out to the fired officer for comments, but did not hear back. Alex Perez, ABC News, Chicago.